Hello, hope you're having an amazing day. Today I want to show you something um, really cool. The before and after effect. I I didn't use the before and after picture because I didn't have one. But I want to show you the main reason why I decided to do this tutorial. Um, I was trying to do something for a client because he wants to display before and after. But one of the things that was like crazy to me is on the marketplace, if you do before and after, they do have an app. But today I'm going to show you also how to create your own app. So that way you don't have to do this anymore. But if you see here, this one, even though it says free to install, once you have it on your website, it asks you to upgrade and pay a one-time fee, which I don't think so. <laughs> I respect people's, um, you know, ideas. So that's cool if they need to make money. But today I'm going to save you some. So it's going to be super simple. So we're going to do this. It's going to be super easy. Uh, once you go to uh, your website, as you can see here, all you have to do is go to the embedded right here, embed and code. And you're going to add this element and you're going to click enter code. And on the description, I have a link where you can go and copy the code for free. You don't have to pay anything. Then you're going to come here and you're just going to paste the code that I give you. And then just click update just so it gets saved right away. And then I'm going to show you how to change it. So if you scroll up here, you're going to see there's two images. So there's one right here, which is the after and even here it says before and after see so we can just change this one okay and the way you do it is just go to your website so we're gonna upload our image so i'm gonna go find an image from my computer so let's say i want to use this one so once i open my i mean upload my image right here just give it a second you're gonna go here and you're gonna copy the url and then just go and edit code again and just click anywhere on your screen i would say copy this code somewhere keep it safe so, so that way you don't if you messed up something you can always um copy and paste again but all you have to do see where the h starts and the g so all you have to do is just replace all of this so you delete that and then you paste the new url and then just click update once you do that if we expand this you're going to notice it's already changed so we have our new image and let's say if you don't want a black color in the background you can also change the color code so you can cu customize this whole thing if let's say later you want to use um what uh, let's say a text you want to put a text here and then put before and after so as you can see here it even tells you the background color see it just has it like one 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 and i can select a different color let's say i want to use this color so i can replace this color code and then as you can see now it's white. So let's say I wanna also change the other image. I have to do the same thing. I'm just gonna go and up upload a new image. Let's say I wanna use uh, this one. And then we're just gonna go find our new image. So we can go and copy, see these three little dots, copy our URL and then close this scroll to the url right here and we can replace this one so i can delete that and then paste it and there you go so now you have those two images so if we preview it see you don't have to pay for this app uh, again, of course, it works better if you use the same exact um, position of the image of like, like if it's a building or an item, 
uh so before and after i would say this is the only thing that i'm not a hundred percent happy is if you hold too long right then you have getting that little flash on top but if you just do one time and then you scroll it it works really good and i haven't had any problems with this so also the client can just click once and see it uh, and then the next thing you have to make sure you do is you gotta edit the breaking points so if you go to the uh, tablet mode you can just scroll and i mean stretch not scroll stretch and then you want to also do the mobile and make sure you do the same thing so that way you can see most of the picture so in this one um i'm not very happy on the mobile um, but we can probably do it upside down so instead of having it to go from left to left to right so what i would do in this case on the mobile you can actually uh, add a new section if you want if you don't want to have this issue and then just do a different angle of that image because anyways uh, one thing that a lot of people tend to do is they're gonna want to keep it like the regular size but then it's also hard to see I just don't like that so what I tend to do sometimes on the mobile version is I will add a new section and I will add a new element so if I do the same thing here I can add a new element and I can add a new code, right? So if we copy the code and then I paste it right here, but then instead of using the same image I was using, so we're going to change this one. We can use a different image. So let's say we're going to go here and I can go to the image that I'm using. So let's say it was this one. I can crop this and use like a different size so in this one i can do orientation uh, i can do this one and then i can click save and it's gonna save a copy of this image so as you can see here now i can use this uh, url and we can replace this one right here so i can replace this one click update just to make sure it's working let me expand this really quick and then i can also do a different um, image for the other one so let's go back here and we're going to go to edit our other image with uh it was which one was it? Let, me, let me make sure i remember oh it was a house okay so we're gonna go here find our house and i think it was this one and i can also do the same thing i can change the orientation right here use the same size and then right here i can just arrange the section that i want to show um maybe it's this part right here and then save it so it gives you a better bigger image than having to use just like the same image for the desktop and the mobile and then i can copy the url go back here and edit the code and then we're gonna edit the image right here on this one so we delete that one we update it and now we have the other image see i just got it confused anyways you you see the point just make sure you pick the right link and now this is gonna look better but on this one what i can do is i can just hide it and then watch what's gonna happen so you have a better angle for your image on mobile than having to use the um the landscape mode so that way you can use portrait and then if we go to the desktop you're still gonna have the regular image that you were using so this way you avoid having to uh, keep one same size for a landscape in a portrait mode so your image is not too small again hopefully this video helps you and let me know if you have questions if you have suggestions if you need assistance or something just send me a comment and i'll be very happy to answer anything you need 
have a good one and uh, if you like this video make sure to follow uh, comment and like uh, that definitely helped me a lot and have a blessed